So if you haven't realized by now, in just 10 days, me, Rosie, and our two dogs are moving across the other side of the world to Australia. And the thing that we've just realized is we've shown you guys a lot of the process of everything that we've been doing, but we haven't actually sat down and spoken about some of you guys' most asked questions mm -hmm. about our whole move and just everything. So that is what we're going to do today. We're going to answer a load of your guys' questions. And at the end of the video, we're going to tell you exactly why the real reason as to why we're moving to Australia. Because I don't actually think we said no, it anywhere. I don't think we have. So the question that you guys are asking us the most, I literally get messages about every single day. Whereabouts exactly are we even moving to in Australia? Mm -hmm. We haven't actually said where we're moving to. Yeah, even when we're in public, like people ask us and it's like they expect us to like tell them our exact postcode. Yeah, our exact like new address. Where we're moving. I feel really small right now. Yeah, it's because you've got a smaller torso than me. <laughs> How does that work? Sitting on a cushion. Don't judge me, guys. I don't want to see anyone in the comments judging me. Like but a little child in a high chair. Now I feel like I'm like this. <laughs> <laughs> so the place that we're moving to in Australia, we're not going to say the exact place. No, not the exact town, but you guys will probably figure that out once we're there anyway. We're moving to just near Brisbane. So we're yeah. moving to Queensland, the tropical area of Queensland. And it's where we've always dreamed of moving to, which is just crazy that we actually found a house in the exact place that we want to live. It's crazy. And if you guys remember like a couple videos ago, we actually found Rosie's old journal from when she was like 12. 12 years old yeah. and she wrote that like she wanted to live in this place the exact place which we're not gonna say but it's near Brisbane and you wrote that when you were like 12 yeah but the one thing I didn't realize about Brisbane I said to Rosie like I don't want to move where like the big spiders are and she was like no no it's fine like you're not moving there like we're not moving to the place where like all of that is turns out where literally where we're moving to is the worst place for spiders brilliant <laughs> so how are me and Rosie actually able to move to Australia with the visas etc because Australia is so strict to get into like people know you're Australian I guess I think people know that I'm Australian I grew up there it's like my home Home. That's where my, all my family is. So I've got an English passport and an Australian passport. So I can live in Australia and just do whatever I like, which is so lucky. But because I'm an Australian citizen, I can sponsor Harry mm -hmm. to also become a permanent Australian vet uh, <laughs> veteran. A permanent Australian resident. I've basically done that, and because we're getting married and we've lived together for more than a year, that's like the criteria. So we got Harry on the partner visa, and in three years you can get a passport as well. And in three years I might have an Australian accent. Who knows? <laughs> Mine comes back so. So much when you I'm around my friends. So and stuff. quick. Like when Rosie's on the phone to her friend on FaceTime, she literally answers. She's like, hello. And I'm like, how do you just go Australian like straight away? So, how are we really feeling mentally about this whole move? Oh, I. Do you want to answer first? No, you go. I feel the, the happiest I could ever feel. I feel like this might speak for some, but I just don't like living in the UK. It doesn't feel like home to me. I don't know why, because it is my home. The day that I went to Australia, which was like four years ago, me and Rosie went traveling in a camper van. She took me to all the beautiful places that she went to when she was younger and I just fell in love with it and I was like this this feels like home like palm trees sunny weather e just everything the people were so nice I just feel like moving there is gonna be like the best for me mentally mm -hmm. so how are you feeling right now though about like the move I feel like I should say I'm stressed but I'm just not yeah don't get me wrong I'm, I'm gonna miss my family and stuff that's the only like stressful part but I just can't wait to get on that plane it feels like we're going on holiday it does it feels like we're just going on a one like non-stop holiday which yeah. is just crazy but I'd say I'm just full of excitement happiness mm -hmm. just finally feel like we're going to be achieving what we want to achieve and you're going home yeah i'm going home my Rosie's, family's yeah. there Rosie's my friends are there the only thing i'd say that's like my ne like a negative emotion that i've got towards this move is our dogs go like transport over mm -hmm. to australia that's the only thing that's causing us both anxiety and we don't see them for 30 days but as, yeah. soon, as soon as they're there and they've done the quarantine and we see them that's gonna feel like home yeah. as soon as our dogs arrive we're gonna be like no, because that we live video, here. This is crazy. That video where we video reuniting with our dog. Oh my gosh! Do you know how emotional that's gonna be? I think you guys for the first time will see me cry. Yeah. For like I the think first time. That's the only thing that's causing us anxiety at the mm -hmm. moment. The rest of it, we were really stressed when we were trying to find a house. Oh, it was so stressful. That was really really stressful. But now that we've got our house sorted, our plane tickets booked, we've packed up basically our whole house. Hence why we're sat in a room that's a mattress on the floor and there's nothing around us right now. <laughs> to put it in simple ways, it feels like we're going on holiday and we're going to get there and we've got a house that we've, Ready for we've already like paid for and we're going to go in and be like oh here we are home again this is our home and until that happens it won't feel like we we're moving it would just feel like we're on holiday yeah true oh god i'm uncomfortable in this bed oh, I, I, can't well. lie. I feel like i need to just like go back to <laughs> so what is the most stressful thing about the whole move to australia i would like literally what we just said about yeah, our dogs. yeah. Say it's just our dogs. our dogs and finding a house i feel like for me though the most stressful part about the dogs is their flight over there once they're there and they're in quarantine for 30 days that's like, true i'm not gonna feel as stressed that's so true because i know that they're gonna just be in one place i know get we'll get pictures videos yeah it 
it's just like the journey that's I think is the most stressful thing. Yeah. Which will only last 24 hours and once they're there, they're there. They might watch still. films. Yeah, who knows? They might watch films, they might have some snacks. Has Harry said goodbye to his family and have we both said goodbye to all of our friends? We have said goodbye to 80% of the people. I've said goodbye to my yes. mum, my best friends and I've just got my other side of the family to say goodbye to. So with Rosie, like we only had our best friend Cal. You guys know Cal by now. He's been in so many of our videos. He's like our best friend. Yeah. So that was the only person you really had to say goodbye to other than yeah. like my parents and stuff which is like super hard for me but at the same time they're so happy for me but I feel like my family have like they've low-key always known that I'm going to move to Australia but more my dad because when my dad was like like 20 years old he went and got a reading from like one of those what are they called? Like psychic. Yeah like a psychic person and that person said that your youngest son is going to do a job that requires no uniform and he's going to live on the other side of the world and it's come true so yeah, like, I don't know so maybe weird. my dad's like he's just, like low-key known all this time yeah like that's even like a crazy coincidence or from the day that he got told that he's like kind of low-key been like that, yeah. that could happen you know say goodbye to our friends obviously i've got friends and family in australia as well so it's gonna be nice though because my family and friends in australia obviously harry knows so we've got like split lives on either side of the world but even it's, though we're in australia you still feel at home because you've got people that you know there because like my family's almost been like your family whilst you've been here your family's gonna be my family when we're over there yeah so it doesn't ever feel like we're like away from family because it's like we're gonna be either with one or the other exactly you know? and the thing is as well like with Harry saying goodbye to friends and family he's seen me live so far away from my family for the last two and a half three years now yeah you've seen me like go through that so it's almost like mm -hmm. It's your turn now, but you know yeah. how to deal with it because you've seen me do it. Yeah. Which is quite helpful. I know they want the best for me and I know yeah. they're happy. So of course I'm going to miss them. But yes, we have said goodbye to pretty much everybody. So some of you guys might already know this because we did mention it in like three videos ago. But it was when are we going to be doing a new house tour of our new house in Australia? So pretty much like as soon as we arrive, we're going to be doing a house tour. Yeah, pretty much. Maybe like a week after we arrive. As soon as we get there, basically. We yeah. want to show you guys. We're going to do an empty house tour. Yeah, we're not going to wait till we furnish it because I think when we lived in our apartment, Apartment, like three years ago we waited like six months to do a tour because we wanted it furnished yeah so, but you guys want to see the unfurnished like it's, it's what you wanted in this house exactly. so we're going to give you guys the unfurnished house tour and then we'll give you we'll guys the updated one the furnished one once rosie has put her interior <laughs> design and her creative skills to like the max yeah because it was for me it wouldn't be done for like eight months <laughs> and i guess this is the question that everyone wants to know the answer to mm -hmm. and we've not actually physically like verbally sent to anyone no really what is the real reason behind why we're moving to Australia. Australia. Mm. Why are we deciding to make this huge change in our yeah. life, taking all of our belongings to the other side of the world and just starting our life all over again? Why? Mm -hmm. Well, you guys know Australia, like, it's because it's where you grew up. It's where I've always wanted to go in my life. Like, I've always said either America or Australia. And Rosie's parents live there. So it makes sense because it's like, it's the most beautiful place in the world. The whole place is like a GTA map. Like, you have every. <laughs> it's the weirdest comparison. <laughs> like, no, but genuinely, like, it's like life. the one place, where, like, people might be thinking, why Australia? They're like, yeah, I know you got family there but it has everything you can go beaches rainforests snowboarding yeah in different places like everything yeah so that's why we're moving there but the real reason as to why we're moving there now is because we want to eventually start a family that's where we want our family to grow up and yeah. that's where we want that's where we see ourselves starting a family and this whole time that we've lived here in the uk we've mm -hmm. just we felt this like heavy weight on our shoulders where we just don't feel at home here we just feel trapped in a way for me like living in the uk when i was a baby like i never thought oh like this is so boring but i just think if i'm gonna raise my baby and i have a choice to have it just your this, baby just my baby i'm gonna raise my, our baby. I'm gonna raise my <laughs> baby and i have a choice to do it either here or in australia knowing how good your childhood was no. like how you i've seen videos and stuff like her family took so many videos in australia like of her as a kid and it just looked like you had the most beautiful childhood and yeah, i'm like very blessed with that and i'm like that's where i want to raise our child that's I what wanna, we want to give to our future family. our child Good. Our child, not my child. I'm glad you said that. <laughs> our child. So the real reason is because we want to start a family soon. And Very soon. we're not going to say like what. Soon. <laughs> we're not going to say. Soon. Tomorrow. If I said to Rosie right now, she probably would say right now. Like we always say, guys, like we can't wait to just give you guys the best content ever. You guys have been there from day one mm -hmm. on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, the whole lot. Like, all of you that have supported us and made us get to a point now where we can move. Yeah, where we're able to because there's times that we remember sitting in our first ever like place that we lived together and like just saying, dreaming of having of this an moment audience. now, like right now. Yeah, yeah, and like we're having an audience and to show this whole journey and to be able to be in the position to move to Australia and it's actually happening in ten days' time. Like it's crazy. I can't quite get my head around it and like oh, it makes so me like so emotional. If that, <laughs> if that, if that, if that gives you guys like 
any kind of motivation to keep going and do your dreams, then I don't know what it is. Because I, I literally feel like five years ago, we were sat in our house saying, I can't wait until we have like, you know, like a million subscribers one day, a million followers one day, and we can like do YouTube and we move live to Australia. Australia and we raise a family, we have like, and it, it comes true guys, like it does. I can't like explain, if you just put the work in and you just believe in yourself, you don't give up and you just have this vision in your head, yeah. it will come true because it literally is coming true for us it's in crazy. 10 days. It's crazy. I can't, yeah. I can't explain I it. can't. I feel like I'm going to have to cut this video now because <laughs> I'm going to start like welling up. It's just so emotional but I think this is probably going to be the last video that we're going to be even filming in this house as well which oh is my crazy. God. But if you guys haven't hit the subscribe button and the like button on this video, make sure you do because you guys are not ready for the content that we're about to start posting. You are not ready but we love you guys so much as always and I guess we'll see you in Australia. Peace! <laughs>